Hi. I'm Danny. <laughs> art for Steve is like, explaining art is like pulling teeth for him. So I told him he could duck out on this one and I would take over. I just wanted to kind of give you a background on who we are and why we put crazy engravings on our knives. I have no idea why I love art so much, but I, I do. It's in my blood. It's probably from my mom, who also, her house is just like a weird, trippy museum. I get inspiration from looking at art anywhere. The inspiration for a lot of our knives comes from art that I see. I'll just kind of give you a background on two of them. This one is the first piece that Steve and I ever bought together. And it was a big purchase for us. I went down to Palm Springs, so I was dragging Steve in good form because I wanted to see what was down there. We came upon this one from a little Jewish gal, real sort of quiet and into herself. She had painted a bunch of nudes. As you maybe know if you're following our work, we do a lot of nudes on our knives. I think some people think that's Steve, but it's actually more me. I just think women and their bodies are, they're beautiful. So we actually have a lot of nudes in here, but this one was sort of unique. It's a larger woman, and it was maybe one of the first times that I just felt that she was still really beautiful. Steve liked it too. We went all in on it, spent both of our paychecks to get it, and we've dragged it around from house to house ever since. It's a special piece for us. I, I guess it's probably a little awkward to have nude women in your family room, but that's, that's how we roll. The next picture is actually really specific to where Steve and I live, and we got this one together as well. Steve and I are both born and raised in Riverside, California. The city symbol is a rain cross, and it's all over our city in different signposts and paintings. My best friend's mother actually makes collages. She's really talented. There's actually another art piece that she did. It's actually an Nora knife, and I loved it. And so I asked her, I said, Pam, do you think you could do like a larger piece, but with the Riverside rain cross? And Pam is from Riverside as well. She was on board with it. We commissioned her to do it, and she came up with this, and we were elated when it came in. It was absolutely gorgeous, and it's been something that Steve and I love because it's part of our roots. So that one's got special significance to us too, and the, the cool thing about it is after Pam made these, she actually was getting so much good feedback that she started making them for the Riverside Art Museum. And so she's been selling them through them, which is kind of a cool thing. Those are those two. Again, everyone has its own little story, but we figured we'd just kind of give it to you short and sweet for now. Let us know what you think. If you like hearing about our crazy, wacky art, then we'll show you a few more of these.